the science image, the questions I ask myself now, what tool or point of view shall I use? What shall I leave out? Those are two different things. It's easy to talk about it, because you, but you get so involved with your work, but step away and think, is my, is, are my tools informing what I'm seeing? You can't be serious about your phone cameras. You can just do it whenever you want, but don't be serious. Well, I've changed my mind. It's amazing what we can do with phones. We're taking you on location now to Hall D at the Heinz Convention Center where we're speaking to Felice Frankel. Felice, great to see you. It's wonderful to be here. Now, you discuss the importance of compelling and accurate images in communication science and engineering concepts. Is this an aspect of science that gets overlooked? Big time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, this generation of researchers, they understand the value of depicting their work in an accessible way, but they leave it to the last minute <laughs> when, they, when they submit They're the to, social media generation. Well, absolutely, yeah. And that, but when it comes to submitting for their work in, their, in journal articles, for example, they don't give it the time that I think it warrants. I think they should be thinking about how they depict their work from the very beginning of their research. So it's not an afterthought to the research, it, it's an integral part. It should be, but I don't think that's happening quite yet. And that's part of your mission. Right? That's my mission, <laughs> that's <laughs> so, right. to, so to speak. Now, what are some of the elements of visual storytelling that researchers should keep in mind when they're communicating about their work? One of the biggest problems is that researchers want to say everything. They want to show us all their images, all their data in one place. And they are assuming that we see what they want us to see. And that's not the case. We see everything. We see so much that we can't make any sense out of it. So I'm trying to get them to create a hierarchy of information. What can you leave out of your figure, for example, to make it more readable? It's actually not simple. They have to figure out what they could leave out, and they don't want to leave anything out. Of course not. It's their research. It's exactly, yeah. So are there any potential pitfalls, and I think you're touching on that, when using visuals to communicate scientific concept. The problem is, once again, they assume that we are seeing what they see. Even, even people in their own field will not necessarily see it because it's just so jam-packed with stuff. Right. So they've got to create an understanding of the communicative nature of their research. Is this something you might want to ask a second opinion about because you're so close to the subject? That's a great, that is a great idea and that's something we try to do on my campus at MIT. We actually have collaborative meetings where we present the visuals and then we trash them. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> right. but, Constructive know, criticism. That's good. I like that. That's much better. Yeah, no, but it's, it's showing it to others that is key. I'm mm. glad you suggested that. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. That's right. So here at the MRS meetings, we, we typically feature a science as art competition where it's understood that there will be manipulation of imagery to enhance the artistic aspect of the image. But what are the concerns about enhancing an image, especially as it relates to science? Well, that, that is a very long conversation. I'm, I'm not, I am not an artist. I believe that the art is already in the science and it's a, it's, it's our, our mission, in a way, to reveal that science and if it's, if it's artful. The competitions that MRS runs is purely on art, creating what they call art. Like, for example, the SEMs look like Yoda. <laughs> and, uh, to be frank with you, I'm not drawn to that kind of image. I think the science itself is beautiful enough, sure. and, in, and perhaps enhancing an SEM with color is a means of pushing it to, for us to look at that it. That would be enough yeah. for you. But always indicating that I've done something, gotcha. always, yeah. Now you presented a number of really compelling images, both here and in your published work. How can someone learn more about that or see more of those images? They, learn about you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, it just so happens that my new book, Picturing Science and Engineering is published by MIT Press, and it, I really literally go through everything that I know. It is a big book, 
and uh, it's actually very inexpensive, which I'm surprised about. But it, you know, I'm, I sort of want to tell you all how to do it. Yeah. This is not difficult. It really isn't. And I'm trying to make encourage the researchers to just spend more attention. Felice Frankel, so much for your time. It was a pleasure meeting and speaking to you. A real pleasure. Thanks Thank you. so much.